opportunities that the events provide. Any focus on the success of the event is of course a necessity and a welcome action. But it is the opportunities to make the changes that last the day after the event that are of most importance. And let me in that regard just point out four important impacts that we have observed happening in many destinations all over the world that have hosted such events. One, infrastructure. Even before any big event happens, we already start to see the physical transformation of the host destination. New hotels, urban makeovers, transportation upgrades, paved roads. This is a profound transformation that leaves its footprint long after the closing ceremony of the event, or long after the event becomes a beautiful memory. It is important to observe that impact on the host community and calculate it and manage it correctly. Who would have thought that the great exhibitions in London held in 1851 would have been the beginning of the long-standing legacy of the World Fair running over a century? Who would have known that the same expo left with us such important architectural imprints such as the Crystal Palace and the Victoria and Albert Museum that I'm sure many of you know here? It happened and it was triggered in London in 1851. Who would have thought that the Tour Eiffel of Paris would have been connected to the Paris Universal Exhibition in the late, early, early 20th century, late 19th century, <laughs> that beautiful icon. And by the same token, I believe that the Bird's Nest Stadium in Beijing will be seen in that light by a future generation, 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 years from now, will be looked at and remembered as such. Looking at more recent events, the Olympics improved the urban landscape of Barcelona, Sydney, London, and drove many, many, many developments in the infrastructural realm and in physical realm to a very, very happy conclusion that could sit you the pride of the people that are coming around. Some of the most important infrastructural attractions as well are connected to what we call the Paralympics that have happened here in London and many, many places all over the world. It's an opportunity for us to pay respect to a group of people in our society that deserve our very attentive attention. And it is something that we have to do anyhow, whether there was an event or not, but the event is an excuse and an opportunity to do it, to make our cities more accessible, more human, and more livable. But the second important impact is about economic growth and jobs. Mega events, without doubt, spark a, a boost, a boom of investments, and creating much needed jobs. The challenge is, how do we make these jobs sustainable and not just seasonal? Last year, the British government announced that the UK economy has seen 12 billion euros trade investment boost from hosting the game, Olympic Games. And the effect continues. London 2012 also created the labor market legacy, generating an estimated 18,000 new jobs per year between 2020 and 2015. And hopefully, it will go beyond that. And to think that this was during the worst global recession that Europe has ever faced is a remarkable achievement. The third issue is that of image. Many countries around the world are either not known at all or even, the worst scenario, known for negative images or perceptions. So beyond the physical transformation and the economic returns, mega events bring about intangible benefits and a wonderful opportunity not to look good but for people to see you the way you are you can't look good if you're not good but it's an opportunity to look better and to let the world see you the way you are when the world cup kicked off in south africa in 2010 not only did the image of south africa rise as a country they lifted the entire african continent with them and we started to look at them with more respect and with more admiration that they deserve we simply did not know. And the Olympics or the FIFA World Cup gave us the opportunity to know. The pride that you show in your country brings the best out of you, and these opportunities make it possible. And of course, who would forget Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth at the opening of 2012 Olympics when she stood side by side by James Bond? Who would have imagined that would be an aspect of Great Britain that you'd want to see? It was received with a smile, with astonishment, with great respect and admiration. And one site by, by alone transformed the entire image that you would have about Britain, about the people, about the monarchy, about everything that this country represents.